Hey, what's up? How you doing? In today's video, I want to go over the charm spells and curses that are being used within the gameplay reveal for Hogwarts Legacy. We got to see a lot of magic throughout the reveal, and it looks so promising from magic outside of combat to the magic in combat. I think we are going to get a big array of magic to use throughout the entire game. With that being said, I went through the review and um, looked at what was being used and also what was being used the most. So I want to go over that list and if I'm missing anything or I'm wrong about something, let me know in the comments. I really would appreciate that. First of all, I want to start with the five most used spells throughout the review. Uh, we see these get used in combination and a lot in combination with each other. Makes the combat looks really smooth because of that and they flow so well with each other. So in no particular order, let's start. At number one is Accio. We see this being used a lot throughout the review, but this spell seems to have a lot of use outside of combat as much as it has in combat from pulling bridges to solving puzzles or simply pulling objects towards you but also pulling enemies towards you in combat and uh, releasing a combination with other spells on them, which looks really awesome. Number two, I made the mistake of thinking this was uh, Expelliarmus, which it was not cause um, we see that later on in the review. <laughs> so I was pretty sure it wasn't Expelliarmus, but I had to look it up because um, I actually didn't know, but it's not a charm, it's a curse, it's Confringo, which is a blasting curse and um, uh, this curse causes the target to explode, which is really useful during dueling. As we can see in the refuel, this curse is being used a ton as well. For number three, we got a simple one, and that's Incendio. A simple spell, but a very effective one. Just shoot fireballs and uh, you should be good. Number four is a very useful spell, and that's Protego, which can be used to shield against uh, magic, but also physical attacks, um, uses, and then counter right away after that. I think that would make for a powerful charm uh, on its own. Really cool to see that. For number five, I thought it was actually Levioso, but looking up some information about it, um, I'm pretty sure it's Wingardium Leviosa because for Levioso, you need physical contact and... Um, to levitate it and we see you use it a lot throughout the review and you aren't touching anybody so Wingardium Leviosa is one being used a lot as well. What I think is really cool is that we get to see a lot of combination with just these like five spells and it just makes the combat look really good and really smooth and um, these are the five most used but in combination with these and also just apart from there's a lot of other spells being used as well so going over them really fast there are some uh, other spells being used but not as much as the previous five so um, the actual charm that starts the entire refill is Lumos only being used twice throughout but still looking really cool and uh, really fun that they put it in as well another one is Reparo and this is a tricky one because um, it, we see it not being used by you it's being used by an NPC but I do think you'll be able to use it throughout the game as well another cool charm we get is the Pulso and we see this being used in combination with Accio a lot on enemies but also objects uh, uh, this combo looks really sick though and we also get this in combination with Expelliarmus which I mentioned before which looks just insanely fun to use. So there's basically like three stunning spells in the game. The first one that we see is um, a Petrificus Totalis. We get to see that being used back to back on two enemies. They get stunned, fall on the ground and then uh, turn into some sort of stone. The second one is Stupefy. I think it's Stupefy because it looks different than Petrificus Totalis. Uh, doesn't fall on the ground and like something just swirls around the enemy a little bit and the third one is an ice uh, charm which is glacius and uh, that's also different than the previous two because we see the enemies get encased in like some sort of ice we can all see it a little bit on the ground and you can see it uh, in the refill when the uh, when the troll charges at you and we even get to see the killing curse of Vada Kadaver, which is really cool it's being used twice and the second time it's it's actually being used by you so like what the hell what's going on right there right there are two things i'm kind of wondering about and uh those two things are in the charms classroom on the wall we see a lot like even more charms than i think we see being used inside of the field itself 
and I do kind of wonder if you can learn everything. Uh, I, I kind of do think so because the game itself already seems so big and uh, immersive that I do think you can learn basically all spells, charms, and, and, and curses that are in the Wizarding World itself. But that going into my second point is that are all these charms, spells, and curses freely usable and available to you or are there certain use cases for it as a simple example um, like dueling spells are those just available while dueling and fighting uh, enemies or can you just use them freely whenever you want even when you're inside of the the, the walls of hogwarts um, i'm just kind of wondering if like that's a thing i hope we can get more clarification on that but oh my this just this already looks so good uh, making the the use of charm spells and and curses feel good and make it have a good flow is such an important part of the immersion into the wizarding world and uh, so far i think they nailed that i think they did a really good job so far with it just all alone on this point there's even more which looks really cool but yeah um want to see my reaction to the gameplay reveal look here want to see a random video look here don't forget to subscribe to the channel would really appreciate it and see you on the next video goodbye